So I'm going to give you a run through of the squares that are available on the website. All of these squares share the same standard features. So you can draw square. They've got angle graduations down the side there for quick referencing your angles. And most of them have got these scribe marks along the bottom here. So you line that up with a parallel perpendicular line and you can draw parallel lines really handy for marking out studs, that kind of thing. So this is the Hulse Force version. This little mark here is for marking out three and a half inch bird's mouths, which is a US convention. I don't know how much use that would get over here, but it does have a nice handy little pad on the back for writing down measurements, and then you can wipe that off afterwards. So that's the Hulse Force square. Next up, we've got two of the versions here from Martinez. This is the titanium blade version, and then this is the powder coated aluminium version. So both really nice squares. You've got loads of different features on this. So again, you've got square angles down here and parallel marks. A few more increments available on, down the bottom edge here. Um, so with this, you've also got a couple of quick reference marks there. So for example, here, 60 degrees, you can put a little mark in there, pivot on the corner, and then you can nice and quickly just mark up 60 degrees there. So that's quite a handy little feature. You've also got um, 45 degrees there, and then you've got parallel 15 mil, 22 and a half, 30 mil, a couple of extra little increments there, parallel 45 degrees. Another little feature is you've got this overhang here, which is really handy for marking out architraves, that kind of thing. So you can just whiz around your your door frame with that and you've got little millimeter increments there if you want a bit of extra accuracy on anything and so that is the martina square the last feature on that is the hip valley rafter markings down here so using that if you want to for example do 30 degree hip cut you can just put that straight to 30 mark that and that's your hip and valley cut so that's the martinez micro square and that is also available in more different colorways on the website. So next up, we've got the tree jig. And again, angles down the side here, parallel markings. With a tree jig, you've got a few more options with the scribe marks. So these marks are every two millimeters. So you've just got a little bit more accuracy compared to some of the other squares there. Um, but that's the same standard features. And last up is the tree jig PS100. So this is kind of like a micro square, but with a few extra features. So you've got every five mil increment scribe marks down the side here, and then you've got every millimeter in between marked here. So that's quick reference, and that's for doing like more accurate work. So ideal if you're in the workshop or at a bench. Down the side here, you've got lots of nice quick reference angle marks. So if you want to go straight to 55 degrees, put it in there. Pivot round, you've got a little 55 degree mark. So there you go, 55 degrees straight away. That's graduated every five degrees, but you do also have every single degree on the outside here. So um, that's really handy, really nice little square. And these are current offerings available on the website.